In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a horizontal bar chart in React Chart.js 4. So let's start to look how to create in React Chart.js a horizontal bar chart. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we have this here. This is just a basic item. We're going to create a new functional component for the horizontal bar chart. So to do this, I'm going to start with the very basics. I'm just going to import React from string value of react so once i did that the next thing what i want to import is because we're going to create a bar chart it's a horizontal bar chart but it's still considered a bar we're going to just say a bar and then from react dash chart js2 once we did that we can start to put in or import the items we need so in this case we're going to import everything that is necessary for drawing the chart. So we're going to chart, we will be renamed as chart.js. That's the first one, that's the basic. Then what we need is for the bar chart is a bar element because we want to have these rectangle shapes. The next thing what we want to do is create a category axis, which is uh, the X axis by default for bar chart. So we're going to give that the category scale, the linear scale, we need as well, which is the Y axis. Once we have that, what we would like to have as well is a tooltip. And finally, we need a legend. So once we did that, we're going to say import this from chart.js. Now we have them imported, but we didn't activate them yet or register them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to register them. So we're going to say here chart.js dot register. And then we're going to just register all the items we just import so we're going to grab everything with an exception of the upper ones here because this here is being shown in here so once we did this we're now good to go and start to create our functional component so we're going to say constant bar chart and then we're going to say here put in here the following in here we're going to put in all the information that we need and that information uh, will return eventually some HTML code that we want. In this case, we're going to say here return. And what I want to return here is a div. I'm going to return a div. We will nest it within a div. And what we want as well is I want to have the bar tag. And the bar tag will have some props. And the props will be the data, which we're going to put in here. And of course, this will be data as well. And then we have the prop uh, for um, what is that? The options. Let's say here options. These here are objects that we're going to create afterwards. So we're going to close that and then we're going to say here bar. So once I did this, I'm going to start working on. Well, if I save this, probably nothing happens yet because we didn't export this and we didn't import it here yet. So we have to do that later on what i want to do here well or let's import that one or export this and import it to the app.js to see if we get anything at all well we probably get an error message but let's try and so we have a visual so i'm going to say export the default uh, sorry not the default um yes that oh sorry it is the default but what exactly it is the horizontal bar chart and i realized that we should just horizontal bar chart uh, that's the one we want to export but we want to make sure that that's in here as well so we save that go back here then in here we can just create something very simple we're going to say here we'll have a div and then within the div here I'm just going to say here uh, the horizontal bar chart if I save this, we will get an error because we have not defined this yet because I need to import this as well. So what I'm going to do here, import horizontal bar chart. And then I'm going to say here, this will be from where exactly I'm going to look for the horizontal bar chart JS. So basically here, this horizontal bar chart like that, save. Now it's working, but and we can see we get an error module not found can't solve horizontal bar chart all right and the reason why it can't find it of course is no slash 
there. All right. So now we have that. But as you can see here, we get an immediate, an immediate error here, data and the option, which is the prop that we have created here with the object has not been defined. So what I can do now is start to define these items here. So I can say a constant data. And what I will do here equal this. Then what I want to make as well is a constant options equal blank basically for now. If I save that, it works, but of course we can error because there's nothing else in here. So let's start to work on building the items in here. So what I'm going to say here is the following. Uh, for the data, what do I need? Here is the labels. We can just put in here label one, two, three, but so I'm going to say here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, comma, and then we can put in here next the data sets, data sets, and this is an array as well. And within this array, we're going to put in the value and one of the value will be the label. This could be um, the branch. And then what we're going to say here is the data that we get from this branch, which is an array again, but then as well, um, the values that we can put in there. Well, we can just put them all together. So let's say here, this branch makes $100, $200 and $300, depending on the day. Then what we can say here is a background color. And let's give this a color here. What I will do is I'll just grab here the react or blue color. So 61 dark blue or db facebook yeah, very simple all right so let's save this and as you can see here now it starts to work but what we have here is a basic chart and it's not horizontal so what we're going to do now is we're going to change that to a horizontal bar chart and uh well to do this i need to work in the options here the options here allows us to do certain things and specifically what i want here is the following i want to say here the index Access. I want to swap this the y with the um, the index axis. It will swap the y with the x axis. So if I do that and refresh here, you can see here it took a while to load, but now it works and now it is swapping nicely. To make it a bit more nicer, we could give it a padding. We could do it directly within the div by giving it a style here. And then in this uh, style here, we can just put in the item. So we can say here, padding 100 pixels. And that's of course a string value. And then the width will be maybe uh, 80%. And that's a string value as well. Save that. And as you can see, now it's starting to work better. What we could do as well is instead of specifically targeting this, we could also give it here maybe a uh, layout. So we're going to say here layout, padding, and we can just say 50 pixels in padding. And what will happen, it will draw basically in the canvas a padding around here of 50 pixels, left, right, top and bottom. There we are. And that's it. 